Bloody livo driving a boat, watch out. Yeah, might uh, run us into a sandbank. That'll be fun. Oh ho ho, livo! G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. Out with Brent Livingston today. And he's brought the boat. He's uh, been lent Mitch Satori's boat while he's up the Cape, so. Making the most of it, we're at a jumping pin. We've come right out the mouth here. Gonna do a drift deep, throw some vibes, bigger plastics, maybe get a dewy, target some big flathead deep, and then just go and hit, you know, coffee rock ledges, some flats, some shallows, some weed edges, weed beds, all that cool stuff. Bit rough here at the minute and a bit cool, but we're out here, we're doing it. Should be a bit of fun. Oh, I'm just starting off throwing a fish trap, that Team Lou's custom light, TLL1H, on that custom speed stick. Six foot eight, six to 10 pound, running 15 pound mainline. And I got a 12 pound snow leopard leader on there. Come on, you big chrome bastards. A random dewy would be cool to start the day though. Yep. Oh! Bitten off. Big tailor. Had a bit of weight to it for a tailor. made a move had a quick look out the front for Jewies and whatnot but come back in just doing some deep drifts of flathead first and then after that we'll start hitting shallow stuff so a few boats here already let's throw on a little three inch swammer some three eight ounce heads little kvd 200 by lose and i've got 15 pound on here and it's a six foot ten four to ten pound lose custom speed stick light Gonna have to go to the confidence bait soon. Alright, I come to fish deep. Let's fish deep. Alright, is it a colour thing? I don't like this colour. Is it just because I'm not confident with this bait? Is it Livo's guiding skills? I just don't know. I think we sneak over there before anyone else gets the idea. Beats us to the punch. Yeah, I've made another move again. A bit crowded over there. Not much happening. And what is it? It's Monday, it's day after the weekend. So you probably had every man and his dog hitting it and all the baitos anchored up over there. But it's going shallow now. Going back to the confidence bait. Three inch gulp shrimp, quarter ounce. You know the drill. Yeah, we'll just go through this little bit of shallow zone here and see if we can find a couple. Confidence bait time. Yep. Ooh, what didn't carve? Is that a flathead? Dude! Really? Oh man, I'll back that off a bit. <laughs> He's not gonna be that big, man. It he wanted to go, didn't he? Is it a big brim? No, surely not. Shaking its head like a flathead. Dude, it's a snapper. 
No way. A shallow water snapper out here jumping pin. This thing is up. Oh. This thing is up. It was in like two foot of water. Now that just doesn't happen. That's pretty damn random. <laughs> no way. That is a snapper off a sand flat in two foot of water. Look at that, a little snapper. Just ate that gob shrimp intended for flathead in two foot of water in a little sand flat little back bay. That is crazy. And yeah, no wonder he took off and carved. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool, man. How crazy was that? Like, it's legit. It's a shallow little sand flat. And that snapper was up there feeding. That's a first for me. That was cool. Oh, now the session started. Man, it's crazy. Might be up in here this time of year. Might be out elsewhere. Oh, yep. Oh, and he dropped it. How's that? He's gone though. I caught him. I watched him come up and eat that. Got him. Tiny, tiny, tiny flooded. Look at that. I'll go to turn him over and he'll spike me. Yep, told ya. Got a flat out of oh, we got one, mate. We got one. I think you got to put us hard on that shoreline. If we're going to try and see if they're in here, they'll be hard. Yep, right up shallow, Livo. Right up on the edge. Just what we just finished saying, mate. He's not huge, but he's bigger than some of those little guys. No, I'll just sling him up, mate. It's a little flathead. There you go, another little flathead. Slowly starting to find a couple. That's what I tell you, mate. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right, we got a couple of flathead. Got a snapper out here, that was pretty cool. Just gonna make a move, start hitting points, corners, drains. We got half the tides going out already. So the drains will be starting to form up. We'll get fish. So hopefully we can get a big one or two. Oh, another little one spooked. Another one, yeah, he's a good one. Yep. Stop chewing on my leader, you bastard. Another little guy, not a giant. I'll give the glide a go, see if we get a follow. Something took off there, Livo. What was that? Yep. Oh, oh, dude. Yep. Oh. <laughs> dude. <laughs> He's not huge. He's just out of the water and doesn't like a glide bait in his face. Yeah, not bad. I'll take it on the glide bait for sure. Back off in case he does something silly here. Oh, he's just rolling up in that. Yeah. Flying flathead on the glide bait. Nice flathead, just on that glide bait. This is a Savage Gear one. They did the old classic white chartreuse tail color and Got a nice little fish. That guy just rolled up on it. 
and absolutely went crazy once he got hooks in him. That's a good fish. I want to see one bigger, but that's a start. There you go, that's that Savage Gear glide bait. It's just the right colour. Swims well. It works. It's a good one. It's a start. Got a nice little weedy, sandy drop off sort of zone here. We'll work along, see if we can't get another one. So, where do you think you're going wrong, mate? Bringing me? Alright, oh, making another move. The skipper's on the wheel. Oh, I'm just going to head down another series of flats. Uh, throw that glide bait again. Keen to see if I can get a bigger fish on that. We'll just keep peppering. Only got another three odd hours left in us, so I've got to pick the kids up from school. So just run and gun it. Livo's got to get a fish. How many fish you got, Livo? Oh, he's on the donut. Is that a hit? Yes, Livo. He's done it. It's only a small one. Oh, he's just popped me off. Just uh, tell the folks at home what went wrong there, mate. Ah. Uh... If I knew, I'd tell them. <laughs> There's a fish. Oh, it's just a little baby flathead livo. You'd be happy with one of them though, wouldn't you? <laughs> Here you go, livo. I'll give you a look at him, mate. That's a flathead. That's what you're chasing, right? Yeah, right. Try and get one of those, okay? Got it. All right, making another move. Livo had a fish on. He let it get away. Uh, we're just gonna keep leapfrogging. There's a heap of seagrass, which makes life difficult, depending on what you want to throw. Nah, we'll just keep playing, keep having fun. Did you tell him that your buddy backed his trailer into that bollard? Me? Hey. Yeah. I tell him that. <laughs> I'm trying to hide it from you. As is twitching in the port of Brizzy, but it wouldn't load before. There's terrible reception out here. Or service, or data, whatever the kids call it these days. I'll do a livo, I'll throw out here, mate, in the deep side. Why not? Why not, mate? If I get a giant, I'll be like, yep. Oh, big fish, livo. Really? Nah, it's a snake. <laughs> <laughs> How do I hit a snag out there? Come off. <laughs> Could you imagine though the weight? The weight would have been my giant. Yep. Little guy. That brim. The, the Brim Lord, he's back. Livo's driving around in circles up the front. Where are you going, mate? I'm taking this. No, you want to give it a kiss? No, mate. Sure? You're missing it for the day. You get, you get withdrawal when for the day. Oh, we're going to tip over. <laughs> Yep. Oh, good fish. Yeah. Oh, big fish, dude. Um, oh, okay. Dude, it's a big fish, man. Dude, it is a big fish. That's not a huge, huge fish, but it's big. Come back up here. Come back up here. We might get a shot straight up here before it goes again. Oh no, he's gone. Oh. This thing's gonna get that lure stuck in that net, so once we once we get it up, straight in the boat, Livo. Yes! Livo! Oh. Yes! Yes! That's the flathead you want. 
That is a pig. 70 and some, I reckon, Look at that thing. That's a good fish. 73. Good fish on the glide bait. How's that for a fish? Big glide bait eater. On that lose, TLL1H, my custom speed stick light. Awesome combo for casting these glide baits. And look at that thing. That is a beast. That's awesome. That's exactly what you want on a glide bait. So. Look at that thing. That is a thick girl. Gorgeous fish. Yes! <laughs> Livo the captain. Alright, I got Livo running the same colour. We're just saying, we come around the corner, you've got sand all the way back along that corner, and then you hit here and you can see that broken ground, that weedy stuff. I was like, Livo, punch up to that. That's where they're sitting. They always sit that broken, it's either on the edge or up in it. You see, she was real brown. She was sitting right up in that weedy stuff. Just waiting to ambush. There's water coming off this flat. There's a couple little drainage channel points in between. It's just a classic little flathead spot. And it produced a big fish, so stoked. Yeah, man. It's just knowing the little spots, getting it at the right bit of tide. Once that tide's out too much here, you've got no water up here. Can't drive to here. Oh, that was awesome. Well, that's a PB on the glide bait for me, Livo. What biggest bait you've got? On a, oh, biggest is 94. Yeah, nah, front of Marine Mirage chasing Brim, dude. Yeah, four pound leader. Sinking it deep in front of the pontoons on the front run. Four pound? Yep. Back, right oh, yeah, but pinned it perfectly in the upper lip. She was chewing on Jigger the whole fight. How much of the fight this picked up? My GoPros are wigging out. But uh, yeah, another one on the glide bait. Watch this one just like lift up off the bottom, just materialise behind it and ate straight away. But he's a real skinny fish. Like some of those ones recently, like even you can see, got no condition on that fish. It's got the length, but there's just no weight to throw around. He just comes straight in. Yeah, another one on the glide bait. Don't know what footage we'll have, but yeah, there you go. Livo, it's an old fashioned can of whoop ass, mate. I'm, I'm gonna call the bait, yeah, it is a freaking caning. <laughs> Dead set caning. Oh, oh yes, Livo, I watched him eat it. Oh, you want me to net that, probably? Oh, we don't want it to get away. <laughs> hey, get in here. <laughs> She had him falling all over the shop. He, uh, I just see him just absolutely come and target that. I caught it with a bit of my eyes. I reckon the camera would have been pointing at it. It just, I, I actually looked away. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's what I'm stuck <laughs> yeah, He got one. He got one. Oh, I was boy. gonna try and film you, and then I'm like, oh shit, I better net it. It's one. Finally, on the board, it's taken a few hours, but uh, Liam is absolutely handing it to me today. But um, the first one on a glide bait, uh, super stoked about that. Um, Liam's choice of uh, glide bait today really paid dividends, but uh, mate, super happy, super, super happy. Livo, on the board, brother. Asking for a glide bait just a session. Because if you get out of those four flat there'll be just a video just there. Yep. Yep. Ooh. I don't know if it's big, it's not. Oh, no, it's still alright. <laughs> Dude, glide bait and flat head liver, how good is it? Can't complain. If you're catching them all night, not. Ah, it's alright. Yeah, it's alright. Oh, don't, don't, don't. 
Oh, they don't like getting glide baits in their mouth, do they? I only got the one hook in her. To be fair, if this one gets off, I wouldn't be saddened. This is a good eat, good little fight. And... Oh! <laughs> I did say if she got off, I wouldn't be saddened. She must have heard me. Hey, how cool is that, dude? Ah, oh, well, you win some, you lose some. Still cool, man. It's still proper cool. Oh, I felt like I saw something swimming towards that. Yep, it was. He's still there. That landed on the back of the weed. And he swum from this front patch going back towards where it went. I watched him like swimming away from me heading towards the lure. He's only a little guy as well. But he'd seen that splash down and went, I'm going out there to eat that. I'd say make a move, Livo. Nothing's happened there for a minute. Fogging up. I hate it when you fog up. And we just had a mad little flurry. That last hour of the run out tide, just that water washing across this flat behind us. There was fish just staged up all along it and they were eating. We had a couple of follows, but most of them that you know, we caught, they ate before we even saw them following. That's uh, good. We're going to try another flat close by. If they're not hitting glide baits up shallow anymore, we've got a couple of deep coffee rock sort of runs we can have a crack at. We've got another hour or so to go, so yeah, hopefully get a couple more. See how long this camera takes to wig out. So we've got a, a new flat. We haven't fished this flat before. It's right where we've fished another one, but we figure if there's fish over there, why aren't they over here? Can have a look. Yes? First cast on the plucky Livo. Good fish. A little guy. Oh. And he's off. I'm due for another one on the glide bait. Yep. Yes. Oh, he's all right. Oh, no. Oh, she was good. Such a dead set. Hey, I just said I'm due for another one. Now I'm on glide bait all day. <laughs> Yep. Oh, I found it up. Right in the sandy patch. All right, that's it. Dad duty calls. Spooking flathead as we go and driving out of the shallows. There's still fish everywhere. It's been a good session. Cheers, Livo. Good day. Cheers, Mitch, for letting Livo borrow your boat. Thus, letting us fish out of it. That's good fun. Hope you enjoyed that. Glide bait and flathead. There'll be more flathead stuff coming. I'm going back up north, bring the tinny back from the oldies place. So I've got something to play around with because the boat's getting put on the back burner again. Because I'm going to the Maldives for a jig trip. So that's where the money's going for now. But we'll be back. More flathead. Cheers for watching. It's an old-fashioned can of whoop-ass, mate.